Now it makes me mad, and when I get mad, I get nasty, and when I get nasty, I usually end up maiming something like you for, for what? I, it's amazing there, Toad, so keep a cool head and you'll be okay. A maze? I don't think so. It's not really a maze, but it is an annoying level. So what's the goal? To get to the end, of course. But this level... Uh, if there, this is really the water level of the game, and... As... If you've watched any of my other Let's Plays, you probably know that I'm not the fondest of water levels. Like, it's just something about them that makes them not as fun as other levels. But, unlike other levels where I can't explain why I hate the water levels, this one I can. And we're not at that part yet, but we'll get to it. There are these gears that chase us. They'll start chasing us, and... There's, like, kind of two sets. Like, the first set has four gears. Like, there's this is the first set. So we've got four gears. One... Not very hard, just kind of come over here pretty casually. Two... Don't go all the way to the side, otherwise you'll get the spikes, there's really nothing warning you that that happens. So it's really just a process of elimination. No, that, that's not a process of elimination, what am I stupid? This is a hard one. The water really slows you down, so you've got to kind of... Jump. There we go, okay. Good, um, good thing I did that. And here's the fourth one, you've got to... Much like the second one, you've got to kind of stick it stick to the sides because there's spikes at the bottom of most of the pits that you fall down. All right, thank, thank good thing I could jump back up there, otherwise I'd be screwed. So there we go, checkpoints. So we don't have to worry about those gears anymore. So the second set will be later, but for now we've got the first water part really. So we've got these like these these like electric eel things that. If you, that you hit, get hit by those in the wrong place, you'll get run into the spikes and die. There, of course, are spikes, and if you hit those, you'll die. There are... I avoided them there, but they're, yeah, up the top of the screen, you can just see them there. There are these orange fish that will push you into spikes, and you will, you guessed it, die. <laughs> and, and there is also grey versions of the yellow ones which will chase you, so what you've got to kind of do here is like, try and get it to go in a circle and go around, but it'll, it'll even though it's not on screen anymore, it's still following me, so what you do is you come here, there's another one here, kind of lure them both like around here, mash the A, you can either mash A or like time A, if you've got the timing of, of like how long, what the timing was before it let you swim up again. And then you got these sharks, so I got the one up. So yeah, it sends me all the way back here. So I gotta do all that again on one life. But the, you know, the bad part is, it's really like, you can get that life, but if you don't get the life, you can probably get to the checkpoint. So is it worth trying to get the life? No, get, you'll go away. Is it worth trying to get the life, or just go straight to the checkpoint? Definitely should have gone to the checkpoint there, since I didn't have that much health. And I I know if you... <laughs> just missed the spikes. So it's, those are the pushing fish, they push you into stuff. They're very annoying. I did not know you could kill those. You know, I don't... Yeah, I suppose you have to kind of come behind, though. I and mean, there I am, down to two health again, so if I try to go for that one up again, the sharks will nip me and that'll kill me. Not much I can do, so I guess I'm kind of going to... try to dodge the... Uh, I've never... I'm not... Ne I've never bypassed that one before, and I guess I tried to do it there again, but that didn't work out. So, yeah, this, this is why I hate this level. <laughs> Pretty much this part here. There is another part, but... That, as bad as that part is, they actually give you a life, like, right before that, well, as soon as that part starts. So you just die, and then you can pick up the life, like, right over, like, as soon as you start, start from the continue point again. 
So it's like you like you can die as many times as you want. Damn fish, get out of my way. Ah, it got me. Oh well, we should be okay. We should be okay. If as long as I don't screw up royally at the next part, we'll be okay. He is hoping to me not screwing up royally. Uh, did I mention I don't like this level? <laughs> Alright, so come, come over here, grey guy. You're not coming. Why are you not coming? Dude, come on. Okay. Yeah, I think, like, the yellow ones chase you to some extent, but nowhere near as much as the grey ones. Like, the yellow ones have their borders, but the grey ones will just come after you... ...until you get to the next checkpoint. Okay, so... Oh, I knew I'd do that! You get, you get it right, and then you run into spikes. So, yeah, I haven't been getting one-ups by dying, so yeah, I've been losing my lives, and if I lose all my lives, we've got a problem, because I'm not going to be able to... Well, I can continue, but when I continue, I only have three lives. And there I go, dying again. Hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna cut much of this- Oh wow, four lives? I, f I figured I had more than that, but then again, I did die a few times on like, some other levels. Hmm, I must have died a lot, because I mean, I've gotten eight lives so far from points. And then there's all those lives I picked up from other stuff, so yeah, I must have really... screwed up, like, quite a bit over time. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Usually if you're fast enough, you can just, like, kind of s float down. Float down, yeah. You can just float down and none of those orange fish will be spawned yet. But they're, all, they're already there and they're already pushing me into spikes. Three lives left, come on! Come on, I was able to finish my last game with about this many lives. Alright, go away, come on, go away. Hmm... Last time I did get a continue though. You do have continues, but they start you to start a level with, like I said, only three lives. So, unless you can finish the level with three lives, it's really not that much help. So you'll have to start the game over again, grind up lives, and get back to... We'll get back to where you were up to, where you were losing all your lives. <laughs> so hopefully, this will go good. Uh, if I get game over, like, in a stupid spot, I'm probably just going to start the recording all over again. But hopefully it doesn't come to that, because... Because use the force, or some generic saying like that, I don't know. Okay, so, avoid the sharks. Get the one up. Okay, and... There we go, checkpoint. Okay, so that's done. So now we got the second set of gears. I wouldn't actually be able to tell you how many gears this one has. I think it's only like three or something. Okay, so that's one. Now here's the second one. It's a longer one, I think. Yeah, I think so. You gotta really like hurry because you can't swim up that quick. And then you gotta go to the side there. That's easy to forget. If you don't play the game that much. And we come down here. No, yeah, this is... No, okay, so it's only two. Only the two gears because... Yeah, this is it, okay, we're done with the gears for this level. Okay, and... Checkpoint, yes. So this is that checkpoint I was talking about. See, they give you this one up, like... Right off, it's not even hard to get. And there's a good reason, I reckon, because... There are these ducks, okay, these ducks. Now, if they... If they hit you from the... F like, oh, it's hard to explain. If they, like, see you and you don't... They get you from the front... They will kill you one hit. Now, they look like, you know, comical rubber ducks, so... <laughs> something like that killing you with one hit is pretty crazy. Uh, I would be inclined to show that, but, uh... I'd re really rather not. So there's one of those stupid orange fish, again. Hmm, they could be brown. I don't know. <laughs> and then the shark's hitting me in the spikes. <laughs> So yeah, we start off here again, and we just grab this one up, so it's a no problem at all. So yeah, we're at nine, ninety thousand points, so we've gotten all the lot points from lives as we can. Because you can get it up to nine, 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 nine. But, you know, unless you can roll it over to a million, which you can't, you can't get that extra life from 
the last 99999999999 points. So any points I'm getting now are just for no reason. Okay, okay, okay. Swim, swim, dodge the annoying orange fish. Hmm. He, he doesn't usually go up that high, that orange fish. Okay, okay, okay. There's, there's actually not that much level of the level left, but, like, the, this shark is relentless. Like, unless, unless you get, like, really a perfect run, which isn't really something you can control. A shark just has to not be all over you. Yeah, so unless you get, like, this sh a dumb shark, it's pretty hard to get past this part. But I'm, I'm just sure there are some veterans who know some kind of secret that I don't know that make it a lot easier. Hmm. Yeah, see, last time I was playing this game, is how many times am I going to say that? <laughs> that orange fish wasn't getting in the way, and that shark wasn't coming down that much. So I had no problem fitting through that small gap. But, like, the first time I tried, I got killed by doing that. But I didn't have a problem last time with that. Here we go, yeah. Like, the... I'm, I'm not sure how it works, but if you're, like, standing at the bottom, the orange fish doesn't hit you. It's probably something to do with how they programmed it. Um, yeah, so there we go. We got, dodged that shark good. When we come up here, we can still die because there's a damn rubber duck. So look how crazy they go. Okay, good. And we grab these things, and we should be good to go. Just dodge a few of these things, and we're at the end of the level. Dodge, dodge, dodge. All the way to the right. Okay. That is that level done. <laughs> Which could could I could could have done worse, could have done better. You shall pay for your impudent imp imperitance, slime heads, with your lives. The bomb's at the bottom, so get ready, toads, and come on down. Alright, this is the final screen, so I guess there were four. I think I said there were three screens at the start, but no, there are four. So this is sort of, it's sort of like an opposite of, um, what was that level called? Elevator Shaft. But it's not really, because this level has its own gimmick. It's a race level. Yes, these guys spawn and you gotta race them. There's really, uh, unfortunately there's really not much I can talk about, because all you gotta do is make sure you fall down, and so don't, you know, don't touch, you know, expertly navigate through the pipes or... No, these are cinder blocks, not pipes. And get to the bottom and kick the bomb. And kick the guy. No, you don't actually have to kick the guy. There, There is like... I'm, I'm sure that's a glitch. Um, if you actually hit those guys when they're falling, it'll take you to the next level. And I'm pretty sure that's a glitch because... Just because of how it works. Because the code to take you to the next level is like, um, well, because there's like a boss at the end, so you kill the boss, and it takes you to the next level. Now, there's, there's really no other, like, enemies that act like a boss, so the code is like, you kill a boss, it'll take you to the next level, and these rat guys, you actually manage to hit them, and they count as like a boss, so it'll take you to the next level if you hit them when they're falling down, instead of, you know doing all three. There's three rec races, by the way. <laughs> okay. Bomb, and you gotta be careful this one, because... Yeah, that... If, if you're not careful, you'll get hit by that thing. Okay, gas clouds. Dodge the gas clouds. Yep, dodge them. No, get hit by them! Do it! Get hit! No, don't get hit. Yeah. Unlike the other two, there's nothing stopping you from just bolting ahead as soon as the um, rat starts spawning, so we can just keep running. Keep running, run, fall, fall, left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, right, left, right. It's the best commentary I've ever done, by the way. Left, <laughs> right, left. Fall, 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 fall. Alright, enough enough of that. That's just stupid. But there's nothing much to talk about. 
Oh, here's something I can say. You don't actually need to double tap to run in this level. Bang. Well, not in this level, while you're racing. So that's something I had a problem with, because every time I'd land, I'd double tap to run. And it was it's a lot harder if you um, double tap instead of single tapping to dash. Anyway, this boss is a weird boss. He starts just standing still, and you can literally just bash him a bit. But the more you bash him, the faster he's going to get. But if you know it, if you know what to do, this boss isn't that hard. What I used to do is jump like behind him and smash him like that. But then I figured out that you can literally just keep ramming him from the front. And if you do that, you shouldn't have that much problems, unless you know you somehow screw up like I did before. Just let him come out a bit, because when he gets starts getting faster, he can actually like come back before he lands. Like, see if we can show that. Like, yeah. Like, not... Sort of like that, except nowhere near as... Yeah, like that. So if I was to like, hit him really close to the wall like that, he'd do that, yeah. So you, you hug the wall instead of running out. Hmm. Yes, that is what you do. I have told you now. <laughs> oh, he tried to pick him up. <laughs> Okay, dead. And as you can see, we're max points. Points are meaningless now. So we've, we've gotten our lives back up, thankfully, though. If you, 